Hi there. Thank you for tuning in today's practice. Let's begin today's practice in puppy pose. Slowly dropping your elbows down, stack your knees over your hips, lower your chest down into the mat. Feel free to place a block under your forehead. As we move through the poses, don't worry about getting the perfect pose. Instead, maybe try to focus on finding the balance between enjoying yourself and giving yourself a little challenge. Rise up, finding tabletop. Extend your right leg straight behind you. Lift your right leg up, hinging forward, bending from the elbows. A little push up and come back. Deep breath in, lift your leg up and bend your elbows as you exhale. Push up, come back. Inhale, leg up, bend from the elbows. Exhale, come back up. One more time. Extend your left leg straight behind you. Lifting your leg up, hinge forward, bending from the elbows. A little push up and come back. Deep breath in. Lift your leg up and bend your elbows as you exhale. Push up, come back. Inhale, leg up, bend from the elbows. Exhale. Come back up. Rise up to a tabletop. On an inhale, extend your right leg behind and slowly lift it up, keeping a neutral spine. Exhale, lower down, tapping your toes onto the mat. Inhale, lift, squeezing those abs. Exhale, tap down. Inhale, bring your shoulder blades together. Keep a nice flat back. Other side. Inhale, extending your left leg behind and slowly lift it up. Spine neutral. Exhale, lower down, tapping your toes onto the mat. Inhale, lift, squeeze the abs. Exhale, tap down. Release the leg down. Press firmly into the palms, downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up, keeping your knees bent. Inhale, Relax your chest down. Exhale. Engage your arms, pressing into the mat. Inhale. Sink your heels into the mat. Straighten your right leg, keeping the left bent for down dog pedal. Feeling that deep stretch across your right leg. Switch sides, straightening your left, bending the right. Take a few more. Right, left. Right, left. Lower down on your knees. One more time, lift your hips up and back for downward dog. Slowly straighten your legs. Don't worry if you cannot fully extend the legs or touch your heels. And bend. 
Inhale, extending the legs. Exhale, bend. Push the mat away, making sure you don't round your back. Keep going for a few more breaths. Deep breath in and out. Walk your feet towards your hands and slowly lift up into a mountain pose. Warrior three, hands to heart center. Slowly float the right leg up behind you and tip forward. Press the floor away with your front foot, slowly extending it straight. Reach out through your right heel as if you're pressing a wall behind you. Find high lunge, lowering your leg down. See if your front knee is over your ankle. Deep breath in and out. Warrior two, turn your left toes to the front edge of the mat. Right toes point to the wide edge. Align your heels. Spread your fingertips wide, raising your arms parallel to the floor. Left hand goes to the front, right hand goes to the back. Extended side angle. Bring your left elbow down over your knee. Inhale, lifting your right arm towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw your right arm down towards your ear. Back to warrior two. Make sure your knee doesn't pass your ankle. Deep breath in and out. Lower down, finding low lunge. To maintain balance, imagine you're trying to pull your left heel and your right knee towards each other. Half split. Release your hands to the sides or on your hips. Slowly fold from the hips over your front leg. Send your hips over your back knee, extending your front leg forward. If you notice your back rounding, come slightly up, pressing your chest forward, keeping your spine long. Push back with the hips to find a nice stretch in your front hamstring. Back to low lunge, bending the front knee. Low side lunge. Move both hands to the inside of your left foot on the floor. Rotate your left foot to the side of your mat, keeping your knee bent. Your chest, shoulders, and toes all point in the same direction. Deep breath in and out. Come back to your lunge. Back to your ragdoll. Slowly lift up into a mountain pose. Warrior three, hands to heart center. Slowly float the left leg up behind you and tip forward. Press the floor away with your front foot, slowly extending it straight. Find high lunge, lowering your leg down. Turn your left hip slightly forward to get square hips. Deep breath in and out. Warrior two, take the widest stance you can between your feet. Turn your right toes to the front edge of the mat. 
Left toes point to the wide edge. Align the heels. Extended side angle. Bring your right elbow down over your knee. Inhale, lifting your left arm towards the ceiling. Back to warrior two. Slowly bend into your front knee. Lower down for low lunge. Stack your right knee over your ankle. Sink your hips down, feeling a nice stretch along your right thigh. Half split. Release your hands to the sides or on your hips. Send your hips over your back knee, extending your front leg forward. Slowly fold from the hips over your front leg. Lengthen through the spine, reaching your chest forward towards the toes. Push back with the hips to find a nice stretch in your front hamstrings. With each exhale, try to go a little deeper pressing your chest forward. Back to low lunge, bending the front knee. Low side lunge. Move both hands to the inside of your right foot on the floor. Rotate your right foot to face forward, keeping your knee bent. Left foot rotates onto the heel. Inhale, Sinking your hips down. Exhale. Draw your shoulder blades in together. Deep breath in. And out. Back to low lunge. Back to your ragdoll. Ground your hands onto the mat. Slowly slide the right toes to the back of the mat. Stack your left knee over your ankle. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the ceiling, twisting your body to the left. Exhale. Press firmly into your palm. Inhale, send your gaze up, deepening the twist. Warrior two, turn your left toes to the front edge of the mat. Right toes point to the wide edge. Align your heels. Spread your fingertips wide, raising your arms parallel to the floor. Send your right hand behind your back. Lower your left arm down on your knee. As you inhale, weave your left arm under your left thigh. Exhale. Bending deeper into your left leg. See if you can bring your hands together behind your hips. Back to warrior two. Make sure your knee doesn't pass your ankle. Deep breath in and out. Lower down, finding low lunge. To maintain balance, imagine you're trying to pull your left heel and your right knee towards each other. Half split. Release your hands to the sides or on your hips. Slowly fold from the hips over your front leg. Send your hips over your back knee, extending your front leg forward. If you notice your back rounding, Come slightly up, pressing your chest forward, keeping your spine long. Push back with the hips, 
to find a nice stretch in your front hamstring. Back to low lunge, bending the front knee. Low side lunge. Move both hands to the inside of your left foot on the floor. Rotate your left foot to the side of your mat, keeping your knee bent. Your chest, shoulders, and toes all point in the same direction. Deep breath in and out. Come back to your lunge. Back to your ragdoll. Ground your hands onto the mat. Slowly slide the left foot to the back of the mat, stacking your right knee over your ankle. Inhale. Reaching your right arm up to the ceiling, twisting your body to the right. Exhale, press firmly into your palm. Inhale, send your gaze up, deepening the twist. Warrior 2. Take the widest stance you can between your feet. Turn your right toes to the front edge of the mat. Left toes point to the wide edge. Align the heels. Spread your fingertips wide, raising your arms parallel to the floor. Warrior two bind. Send your left hand behind your back. Lower your right arm down on your knee. As you inhale, weave your right arm under your right thigh. Exhale, bending deeper into your right leg. See if you can bind left and right hand behind your hips. Back to warrior two. Slowly bend into your front knee. Lower down for low lunge. Stack your right knee over your ankle. Sink your hips down, feeling a nice stretch along your right thigh. Half split. Release your hands to the sides or on your hips. Send your hips over your back knee, extending your front leg forward. Slowly fold from the hips over your front leg. Lengthen through the spine, reaching your chest forward towards the toes. Push back with the hips to find a nice stretch in your front hamstrings. With each exhale, try to go a little deeper, pressing your chest forward. Back to low lunge, bending the front knee. Low side lunge. Move both hands to the inside of your right foot on the floor. Rotate your right foot to face forward, keeping your knee bent. Left foot rotates onto the heel. Inhale, sinking your hips down. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades in together. Deep breath in and out. Back to low lunge. Back to your ragdoll. Ground your hands and knees for tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and hips over knees. Child to Cobra. 
Walk your hands forward. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, sit your hips back on your heels for a child's pose. Breathe in. Press into the hands, shifting your weight forward to come back on your hands and knees. From there, see if you can slowly press your thighs towards the mat. Pressing into your palms firmly, feel a nice gentle stretch in your lower back. Come back up, sitting your hips on your heels for child's pose. Inhale up, pressing into the hands, lowering the thighs towards the floor. Draw your shoulder blades in together, making sure they don't collapse. Take a few more at your own pace. End your practice in child's pose. Sit your hips over your heels. Extend your arms long. Release the tension in your shoulders. Allow the rhythmic nature of your breath to take over as your inhalation and exhalation flow effortlessly into one another. Turn your attention to your breath. Deep breath in and out. Soften your face, your throat, the tops of your shoulders, the arms, all the way to the tips of your fingers. That's it for today's practice. If you'd like to continue with your practice, check out my other yoga flows too.